tally marks with Anno's Counting Book. This lesson is going to be Anno's Counting Book by Mitsumasa Anno. This lesson is intended for elementary age students. It'll teach students how to use counting strategies like tally marks to analyze pictures and things. Um, this book is great because it really has the detailed pictures that really correlate with the numbers. Um, I will go through each example and uh, give the students a chance to uh, complete the picture and what they think of the picture and then I'll show an example of uh, a possible strategy of a solution. And at the end we'll wrap up and look at the whole book and just talk about um, general trends in the book. The first page is zero. If you look on the page, there's nothing in the picture. So you want to remember zero when you go back to write it down when you're counting on your piece of paper. With whatever you're taking notes with, you write zero. And you can kind of use a divider like that. And since there's nothing in the picture, there's no groups for us to write down. Just draw a line underneath zero. The first page is in number one. Take a look at the picture. Look really close. How many groups of one can you find? For each group of one, make a tally mark on your board. You can pause this video right here so you can have some time to look at your board and everybody get their answers written down before we move on to the next section. Okay, for the next page we're going to be doing number one. How many different groups of one did you find in the picture? Let's see, I found that there was one house, one snowman, that's two different things, but one shovel, that's three different things, one person, that's four, one smokestack, that's five, one sun, that's six, one tree, that's seven, one bird, that's eight. One skier, that's nine. One tree, that's ten. One bird, or one dog, sorry, that's eleven. One bridge, that's twelve. And one cloud, that's thirteen different things. How many did you find in the picture? Okay, if we come back to our chalkboard, next we would write down the number one. And since we found 13 different things in the picture, we're going to write down 13 different tally marks. And you do that by going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we wrote 13 different tally marks, and we can draw a line underneath it so we can move on to the next number. Did you get a different number of tally marks? Compare with the class. Okay, the next page that we're going to look at is 2. Take a close look at the picture and see how many groups of 2 that you can see. For each group of 2, write down a tally mark on your paper. You can pause this video right here to give yourself time to take a good look at the picture. Okay, the next page Let's take a look at this. 
This page is all groups of two. How many groups of two did you find in the picture? Let's see, I found that there was two buildings. That's one. There's two trees. That's two. There's two trucks. That's three. There's two people. That's four. There's two bear trees. That's five. There's two bunnies. That's six. There's two people. That's seven. So I found seven different things in this picture that are in groups of two. How many pictures, how many different groups of two did you find in this picture? Okay, if we come back to our chalkboard, we found seven different things in the number two picture. A good way to keep track of that would be to make seven tally marks. So here we wrote the number two, and next to it we'd write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven different groups of two in the two pictures. How many did you find? Okay, the next picture that we're going to look at is for the number three. In this picture, how many groups of three can you find? Keep track of it on your tally board. Okay, now that we've had a chance to look at the three page, how many different groups of three did you find? Let's see. There's three buildings. One. There's three trees up there. That's two. There's three butterflies. That's three. There are three flowers down here. That's four. There's three flowers right here. That's five. There's three stalks of corn, it looks like. That's six. There is three bare trees. That's seven. There is three people. That's eight. There's three boats. That's nine. There's three flowers here. That's Ten. There's three flowers here. That's eleven. There's three little people holding those flowers. That's twelve. Did you find any more groups of three? Compare with the class. Okay, now that we found fourteen different groups of three we can come back to our chalkboard and write down 14 using our tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 groups of 3 in the number 3 picture. How many did you find?